Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex Quick Look. I'm going to take a look at the euro versus U.S. dollars. We head into the weekend and look forward to next week's trading. What levels are in play? What do we do this week? Where are we may be going? Let's talk about it all. All right, for, uh, uh, first, uh, talk about the hourly chart here. And when we look at this uh, chart, the, you see this green line right here. This green line represents the t overlay of the 200-day moving average. And on Wednesday's trade, and again on Thursday, what did it do? The price came down. Uh, trending to the downside earlier in the week down to that low level or that moving average level and what did we do we found support buyers in the pr initial price moved to the upside here and then rotated back to the down downside and rechested that line and has now moved back to the upside so we are seeing some uh, apprehension to move below the 200 day moving average now if I uh, uh, see, see this yellow area right here I'm gonna have to go to the four hour chart to show you the significance of that and if you go back in time and you take a look at the, the different uh, swing highs uh, through here, let me get the arrow up here, uh, and here, and here, uh, and here, and then uh, it becomes a support through here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and again, resistance through, through here, and uh, support again through here. You get the idea. There's a number of different times where the market came into this area, and this week the market fell below that area on our way to our 200-day moving average. That was this level right here, uh, and then rebounded to the upside. Now, we did move above that retracement or above that uh, swing area uh, after bottoming for the first time here, but the uh, uh, and got above the 38.2% retracement of this uh, long-term move up from the October low to the uh, December high. But uh, the uh, momentum could not be sustained, and the price rotated down. Now we're, we're back at the high or near the high of that uh, swing area. So... Uh, you know the derivation of it. Now, if we're going to go higher in trading next week, we need to get and stay above this uh, yellow area, also get above the broken 38.2% retracement, and then work our way toward uh, this other green line, which represents the 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart. Get above that level, uh, then uh, you know we're continuing the move uh, to the upside. Note, note here the importance of that line. Well, we came down here uh, based against it and moved higher. We uh, came down here based against it and moved higher. Uh, came close to it here, moved higher, and then moved below it and used that level as resistance. So uh, the market uh, has been paying attention to that 200 bar moving average. So if we do get up to that level, look for sellers to lean against that level on the first test. Now, of course, uh, conversely, if the uh, price were to just rotate to the downside uh, from here, from this yellow area, we need to get back below the 200 day moving average or below the 200 day moving average. It's been uh, since this day right here that the price was below the 200-day moving average, uh, but uh, and a move below that level would then target the 50% retracement of the uh, same move higher from this uh, this low right here uh, to the high uh, right uh, through here. So uh, that would be the uh, tar target on the downside uh, on a break of the 200-day moving average. Then we'll have uh, this other swing area to contend with down to 1.0803 to 1.0824. So, uh, uh, you know, euro versus US dollar lower on the week, but found support against that 200 day moving average, rebounding up to a resistance swing area. We'll see how what happens in this area in the new trading week, whether we go up higher toward the uh, 200 bar moving average or we go back lower and uh, test that 200 day moving average. And uh, if we break below that level, look forward to 50% retracement. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye bye now.